I am absolutely buzzing to have these two guests in today. Uh, I can definitely say it's our youngest ever guest on the Yours Mine Away podcast. TikTok and social media sensation, Ollie Russell and his dad, Dean, of uh, father and son goalkeeping. Welcome, you two. Say hello, Ollie. Go and say hello to everyone. Hello, guys. <laughs> the relationship that you two have and what you're trying to do for your son is just amazing. It's like you're a credit to yourself, man. I love it, dude. We had no intention of going viral and, it, and just a couple of his saves just took off. Ollie, you're a little bit of a celebrity now. <laughs> yeah. We got recognised in Chessington. No way. Yeah. They went a season and a half without conceding a goal. Wow. Yeah, season and a half, Guinness World Book, uh, Book of World Records. No way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello, Ollie. Earlier. Right, Ollie, are you ready for a bit of quiz then? Are you ready yeah. for goalie or no goalie? Oh, yeah. Your TikTok following, Ollie Russell GK, 166,000. I did a million a day for like five days. And like Ollie didn't have a clue what was going on. Uh, Sport Bible shared that one, yeah. and Barstool, ESPN, ESPN UK, the Olympics have slid into my DMs. He gets called yeah. Mini Highland all the time. All the time. Or yeah. Ben Foster. <laughs> all the time. Hi, Ollie. Ben Foster here, the second GK. Uh, I just wanted to say I've been watching some of your videos. Um, what did it feel like to grow up in Arsenal but be a Tottenham fan? What a save from Mark Howard. Huge shout out to Forged Irish Stout for being part of this podcast. Listen to that beauty. An unbelievably smooth, creamy stout by Conor McGregor, the UFC legend. Not here to take part, but here to take over. Forged Irish Stout is on a mission to become the biggest Irish Stout. Conor McGregor has taken over the whiskey game. Now he's about to take over the Stout game. Me and my guests will be enjoying a few cans in the next few episodes. If you fancy checking it out too, make sure you hit the description below and find out where you can get Forged Irish Stout. Forged Irish Stout will be available in Asda nationwide come August. Let's get back to the podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Yours Mine Away podcast. I am absolutely buzzing to have these two guests in today. Uh, I can definitely say it's our youngest ever guest on the Yours Mine Away podcast. Uh, I've got a TikTok and social media sensation, Ollie Russell and his dad, Dean, of uh, Father and Son Goalkeeping. Welcome, you two. Thanks for having us. Say hello, Ollie. Go and say hello to everyone. Hello, guys. <laughs> Ollie's a proper goalie, by the way. He absolutely loves goalie. Off air, he just he was just saying that he just loves goalkeeping anyway. He, so he might be a little bit shy. We'll be very patient with him, won't we? Yeah, don't you worry about it. We've got some nice surprises for you. And Ollie's going to do the quizzes today. He's going to do really well and smash it. So... I can relate to, with Ollie anyway, because I've got a seven-year-old boy at home that wants to be a goalie. So can I shout out my little boy, Bobby, as well, while we're here? Shout out, Bobby, Ollie. Hello, Bobby. Yeah, nice, yeah, I love that. <laughs> right, uh, obviously, I'm delighted for you both to be in and that. Uh, obviously, I bet you every one of my followers on social media has seen you two on TikTok and on Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, I, I said to you off air, the relationship that you two have and what you're trying to do for your son is just amazing. It's like you're a credit to yourself, man. I love it, Dean. Oh, thanks, mate. It's, it's really nice of you to say that because yeah. uh, the whole reason we we do social media wasn't was never to go like viral or anything like that. It was just me coming to the end of my days goalkeeping. Ollie said that he wanted to be a goalkeeper, so we thought, well, let's let's start documenting it so we can look back in years to tire and years to come and see how far he's come, he's yeah. training and everything like that. And, and that's how it all started. And like, we had no intention of going viral and it, and just a couple of his saves just took off. Yeah. But again, I think like I said to you, uh, the, the relationship that you have and obviously the, the praise that you're giving him and the feedback that you're giving him just makes just such a wholesome video yeah. that oh. obviously you're going to get, all age groups, you're going to get young kids like Ollie watching it going, oh, I want to do stuff like that. I want to be able to do stuff like that. And you're going to get parents as well. That You must get loads of interactions. Loads. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm always getting messages and and uh, comments from parents and stuff like that asking about us, like saying like older boys as well, saying that, like, it reminds me of their yeah. relationship that they had with their lad when they were younger and stuff like that. And the fact that people can relate to it because essentially it's just me and Ollie in the back garden yeah yeah playing football yeah and uh and, and doing what we love we just turn the camera on and film it so that we can document where, where he's going with it and stuff ollie you're a little bit of a celebrity now <laughs> yeah yeah do you get recognized 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, what about at school? I bet you're quite uh, famous, aren't you? Yeah, I get recognised. Do you? Do you love it? <laughs> Tell me about the latest one, Ollie. We got recognised in Chessington. No way. Yeah. At a the theme park? Yeah. Yeah, what happened? Um, so we were walking somewhere and someone said hi and and waved at me and I waved back and Mum was like, who are you waving to? And I, and I said someone who recognised us at, at, on TikTok. Yeah, how did that make you feel? Uh, just... Was you happy or a bit shy, a bit nervous? Or was you just like, yeah, everyone knows me? Um, I was happy. Yeah, because your inspiration, you love Aaron Ramsdale as well, didn't you? Yeah. I bet he would have loved it, wouldn't he? He'd have puffed out his chest yeah. and went, whoa, yeah. The better made you feel a little bit like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, obviously, I'll, I'll, let's quick this off, Ollie, right? We'll do some quick fire questions for you so we can get to know you a little bit better, yeah? yeah? Without your daddy's help, right? So... Quick fire questions is just one of the answers. So catch or parry? Catch. Catch. Good boy. I love that. Right. Your favourite goalkeeper kit colour? Uh, blue. Blue. Nice. Yeah. The new Arsenal blue is nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Don't tell him that. We've got yeah. to go to the Emirates next. Oh, no. You're going there tonight, <laughs> aren't you, to watch a game? He's going to want the new kit. Yeah. Uh, who's your favourite goalkeeper? Uh, I'm Ramsdale. Good lad. Who's your inspiration? What does that mean? Who's who do you look up to the most? Uh, I've heard you say this on your own podcast dads. a few times. Yeah, your daddy. Thanks, mate. Yeah, that's amazing. I love your relationship. Uh, do you like long sleeve goalkeeper tops or short sleeve goalie long. tops? Long. Yeah, long. Protect your elbows. Yeah. Yeah, good lad. Uh, and also, right, how tall are you? Do you know yet? How tall am I? Yeah. I asked this to every no. goalie that's on here. No. Yeah, no. I can tell you. You're 122 centimetres, and we know that because we measure him for the rides. So <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Until you know which shoes to put on. Yeah, him, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no we know which ones to turn him on tiptoes. <laughs> nice shoe, right. And then, right, in the last minute of a game, Ollie, you've got to save a penalty or score a goal. Which one do you want to do? Save a penalty. Yeah, good lad, proper goalie, you. Proper GK. Yeah. So, uh, obviously, like I said, like uh, I find it inspirational, obviously, watching your, your two relationship. And I've interacted you for quite a long time yeah. now and stuff. And uh, the interaction that you've had back with me has been obviously very humbling. And I know you love sharing the pod as well. Yeah. So, uh, I think that the that just shows like the type of community that the goalkeepers are in and what we do for each other. It's like, we'll look out for each other. And obviously, I just wanted to say thank you on air for, for interacting with us as much as you do. No, that's all right. Um, I mean, you do a great thing. Like, yeah. and goalkeepers, you you love goalkeeping, don't you? And we all just, yeah. like you said, it, the, the GK Union's a funny thing, isn't it? It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. And I, I think you just need the recognition that you deserve for what you're doing and then getting on and talking <laughs> with all these goalkeepers, isn't that right? Yeah. We do a specialised position, don't we, Ollie? Yeah. Some people don't understand it. They think we're a bit crazy. <laughs> I think I think we're just special. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah good lad uh obviously yourself dean you, you was a goalkeeper as well back in the day yeah uh, and you still obviously you, you do a bit of coaching and still play a little bit yourself and yeah. that regarding injuries but obviously uh, why 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 goalkeeping I, I can't even remember the moment that i thought i'm going to go it just happened yeah. it's just always in goal yeah started at a park wembley doubles wembley singles i was the goalkeeper just always went in and uh just just loads of energy, bit crazy, just always went in goal and then it just kind of progressed from there. Went went in goal when I mean, when we were younger under tens, we was playing on eleven aside pitches and eleven aside goals and I was small, it's flipping crazy. Yeah. But uh yeah, just went in goal, loved it, loved diving around, loved diving at people's feet yeah. and like the the best thing about it was when a striker takes a shot, everyone thinks it's in. And then you save it, and uh, there's a gasp yeah. of like, uh, of how. Oh man, yeah. I, I live on it. I live on it. I See, love I, it. I was always the. I lo used to love getting hurt. So, you know, like when everyone yeah. like you'd save one with your face, and everyone expects you to like go down crying or yeah. be f like look like you're hurt. I know you got kicked recently, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, t should we talk about that? Mm -hmm. like, I always used to love getting hurt because I always used to the outfielders would get tackled or get kicked on the ankles and go down and roll around and I was like goalies don't do that we don't do that sort of thing and no. that's what made me no. apart from when I was young it's like I actually enjoyed getting hurt 
Yeah, and getting back up. Yeah. Like and taking that... it and getting back up and carrying on. Yeah. Right. Do you want to talk about when you got kicked the other day? Yeah. Go on then. So, so we were playing a match. I came out and I didn't say keepers. And one of my players um, kicked me. Yeah. Did it hurt? Yeah. Or did you just get back up? It really hurt. It did hurt. Yeah. yeah. Did you rub it? <laughs> right on the chest, wasn't it, mate? Yeah. Oh, yeah. saw one. Yeah, it was a proper karate kick up in the yeah. air. Oh, no. the chest. Yeah. Learn from yeah. it, though, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so what do you have to do next time? Um, call, come out and say keepers. Make sure you shout keepers yeah. so everybody knows it's your ball. Yeah. Yeah, good lads. I love yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously, like you're saying, you played yourself and that. Well, yeah. What levels did you get to? So I grew up playing for folks in Victor. Um, so from, well, it was under 11s. So under 11s, it was Stripes, and then there was an, another team, and then they come together under 12s. It came under folks and Invictus umbre uh, umbrella. Yeah. And then we, I played in that league. That I missed a year when I moved to Croydon, um, and then went back, went to folks and Invicta, and then under 18. So when I let, when I done my GCSEs, um, Dover Athletic had just started the um, program for academic and sporting excellence it's called the Pace Scheme. It's just yeah. college and football all the time. So I went over and did that, um, and then at nineteen, various different circumstances, I stopped playing football. Yeah. Um, and then, and then, <laughs> funny story: become a Christian, moved to the Midlands um, to join a Christian charity. But it was like, anything to get out of Croydon, I don't blame no, you. Yeah, 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 hundred <laughs> percent. Um, but funny enough, I used to I used to rap and break dance. So we were using a group and we used to tour around and stuff like that. And I really wanted to get back into football, yeah. but the lifestyle I couldn't. Um, and then uh, and then I did that for three years. Then I joined the police yeah, yeah. and um, West Midlands Police were in the Midlands Combination League. Then yep. and, and joined and played at that level. Um, but yeah, I mean, folks in Victor, we had a heck of a team. Like we actually um, broke the world record. Um, when we were under, I mean, well, under 12s, we, it was the South East Kent League and we just trounced everyone. It was yeah. like 13, 14 nil every week. And like, I'd just be sat down leaning against the goalpost most of the game. And then when I moved to Croydon, a lad called Tom McKenna, I think his name was, he came in and then, um, they went a season and a half without conceding a goal. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Season and a half Guinness World Book, uh, Book of World Records. No way. Yeah. 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 I thought my record of eight in a row was good. You just absolute trump card. Yeah, oh, mate, it was ridiculous. <laughs> I'm, like to this day, I'm, I'm sure I played in some of those games, but uh, but no, I think it all went down to Tom. Yeah. So he, Do you still try and play now though? Yeah, I try. Yeah. Like the body's just falling apart though. Yeah. The, mind, the mind's able, but the body's just yeah. like nah. Well, I've, I've had three. Well, I've had two knee operations and possibly a third. My shoulder's gone. And are they football related or is that work at the no, place? No, football. Yeah. Every time football. It's um, it's just the twist in and the knee. Yeah. Um, like my meniscus has gone twice on my knee, and like I can tell you, both times it happened, it was taking a goal kick. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. loading through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then you yeah. put that twist for it. It's just years of planting that left foot and yeah. bad technique, mate. Because of my goal kicks are the worst part of my game. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. When I was younger, I couldn't barely kick it out of the box. Like that's a, obviously one of the things that obviously when I was young, I remember I couldn't kick the ball for love nor money, yeah. and then all of a sudden it just came into gear and then it was like I never used to be able to kick the ball out my own 18 yard box and then I got yeah. to I can't remember I don't know what age it was it'd have been about 13 or 14 and just learned to use my levers better and yeah. then all of a sudden it just comes you you're pretty good at kicking a ball though aren't you Ollie yeah yeah you love booting it yeah it's getting yeah. there in you yeah. Yeah. yeah are you working on your sidewinder yet yeah 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 well, we tried it. that the other day it was quite funny yeah was it funny <laughs> yeah. was it, I bet you fell over the first time mm -hmm. trying to lean didn't you mm -hmm. couldn't get your legs right could you no. I told him like hold it in one hand and then you got yeah. to lean and, and and side volley it and he uh he held it in one hand and then he just couldn't get his steps right and stuff and just dropped the ball <laughs> <laughs> but then you got used to it didn't you yeah you'll get it mate yeah. like Rambo oh, yeah like Rambo right Soon. I've yeah. actually got uh something to play you here by the way from somebody I want to get your reaction right Ollie yeah yeah right, you ready so listen to this Darren Ramsdale earlier. I uh, just want to say that you need to keep playing, keep enjoying yourself, mate. Um, have fun with with Mark on the on the podcast, but 
with your goalkeeping, just have fun, mate. It sounds like you sounds like you're playing um, and enjoying yourself. So keep doing that and, and just keep being an overall legend, mate. Nice to speak to you. See you later. Bye. What do you reckon of that? Ramsdale. That was Aaron Ramsdale saying a message to you, Ollie. Oh, my goodness, Ollie. That's special, isn't it? Is that weird? Yeah. Hearing Aaron Ramsdale say your name? Yeah. He's telling you to keep doing what you're doing because you're obviously yeah. doing really well at what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, is that inspiration or...? It's inspiration, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Rambo knows who you are, Ollie. He does, yeah. Mm -hmm. I sent him a picture of you saying that you were coming on the pod and I was like, can you send him a message for me? And he's like, yeah, not a problem. I've seen you on TikTok. But he told me. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his face. You need to That's tell so him to good. drop a drop a like, comment, and share. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's an excellent. Yeah. That's so funny, yeah. Who else has commented on one of your TikToks? Uh, About an England player, aren't you? Yeah. Who did that? I forgot. Forgot uh, her name? Yeah. Mary Earps. Oh, Mary Earps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's commented brilliant on, on socials, isn't she? Yeah. 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 Well, she's shocked to comment. She's changed the game for goalkeeping, especially for women's goalkeeping. Like... Yeah. She's got so much personality and stuff like that. And yeah, proper legend. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. But that was a good one. I love what she's doing with her recent little campaign with the goalkeeper yeah. shirts as well. Yeah, Calling yeah. Nike out, it's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. But she's so right in what she's yeah. trying to achieve anyway, as in like making everything equal and making it more accessible. So yeah, 100%. She's doing a great job anyway. She's playing brilliant as well. Obviously being England captain definitely helps anyway. Of course. Right, Ollie, are you ready for a bit of quiz then? Are you ready yeah. for goalie or no goalie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know you've been practising this. Been looking forward to this, haven't you? Right, mm -hmm. so it's one point for each correct answer. I'm going to do the scoreboard yeah. here. Watch this. It's my little scoreboard. Mm. I can't count, Ollie. I have to use that. <laughs> <laughs> See, normally I have my fingers under the table going, like, one, two, I can't keep count. <laughs> right, so I've made this all for you, Ollie, right? So this is five random names and five international goalkeepers around the world that I'm hoping that you might get some of them. All right, but dad's yeah. not allowed to help. Okay. Don't look for, don't look at daddy. I'm not helping you. <laughs> right, okay. number one, you ready? Yeah. Wojciech Szczesny. Goalkeeper. You sure? Yeah. Good boy. One, how do you know that? I just guessed. Good boy. He used to play for <laughs> Arsenal. Oh, he did? Yeah, he plays for Poland now oh. and Juventus, but yeah, he used to be at Arsenal. Yeah. Good boy, one out of one. Right, number two, you ready? Yeah. James Donaldson. No goalie. He's not a goalkeeper. That's two out of two. He's actually YouTuber Mr. Beast. He does loads of different challenges. He's very oh, famous. Um, People have been talking about him yeah. at school. Have they? Yeah. yeah. A lot of the school kids watch Mr. Beast. He does lots of crazy challenges like hide and seek in a football stadium. Yeah, and he does like Minecraft. I've he does, heard. yeah? Yeah, he does Minecraft. Yeah, that's good that you know Mr. Beast. Right. You ready for number three? Yeah. Marco, Mark Andre Ter Stegen. No goalie. He is a goalkeeper. He is Germany and Barcelona goalie. Mark Ter Stegen, have you heard of him or not? No. Nah, no worries. Right, number four, Ash Ketchum. No goalkeeper. He's not a goalkeeper. Do you know who that is? No. He's Ash from Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Ash. That's free. Ash. Yeah. You like Pokemon, didn't you? Yeah. That was just me guessing because my little seven year old loves Pokemon. So I was like, I'm going to throw in a name that you might recognise. That's three <laughs> out of four, Ollie. You're doing very well. Last week's guess only got two out of ten. <laughs> right. Number five, Alison. Goalkeeper. You sure? Yeah. Good boy. It is, yeah. It's <laughs> Liverpool and Brazil goalkeeper. Four out of five, Ollie. Flying here. Smashing it. Right. Number six, Patrick Starr. No goalkeeper. Do you know who that is? No. Do you watch SpongeBob? No. It's oh, yeah, Patrick Star. Patrick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice, I like it. Yeah. You're flying here. Your mum's a big SpongeBob fan, isn't she? Yeah. Why? He's got square pants. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got square pants, have you? No. No, nah, I bet not. Right, number seven, Casper Schmeichel. Goalkeeper. He is a goalie. You're flying here. You know more goalies than me. <laughs> Denmark and Nice goalie. He's very famous. He's got a very famous daddy. It's more of a oh. our era, yeah, though, isn't from it? our era. He would have been one of mine and your daddy's idols. Right, number eight, Terry Deary. No goalkeeper. He's not a goalie. He is the writer of the book's horrible histories, Ollie. 
Oh. You'll start learning about these books soon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, your sister's on those. Yeah, yeah, bet, yeah, yeah. She loves them. I've tried to make it as specific to you as possible. Anyway, right. Number nine. Two more to go, right? You're flying here. Seven out of ten already. Seven out of nine. You got, uh, Seven out of eight, sorry. Right, number nine. Emilio Martinez. Goalkeeper. He is a goalie. You're flying. <laughs> you know more goalies than anyone. He is Argentina and Aston Villa goalkeeper. He just won the World Cup. Oh. Does the wobble with the penalty that. saves? Oh, doesn't he? yeah. Do you recognise uh, that's him? Yeah. Do you recognise him? Uh, no. He made an unbelievable save in the World Cup final, and everyone says that Lionel Messi won Argentina the World Cup, and I think his he save plays, did. He used to play for Arsenal. He did as well. That's why I've thrown a few Arsenal ones yeah. in there for you. Right, last one, number ten. Let's see if you can get to nine. Arsene Wenger. No goalkeeper. No, he is not a goalie. He's Arsenal's old manager. You got nine oh. out of ten, Ollie. Ollie that? Russell, that yeah, is brilliant. Kids. Yeah, give me some of that skin. Yeah. <laughs> well played. Yes, Ollie. You happy with that? Yeah. Was you nervous? Yeah. Yeah, you did really well. Look, nine. Nearly the perfect score. Really good, that you. Do you know who else got nine? Who? Conor O'Keefe got nine. He did? Yeah. Oh. Not many people are high up as you. I think there's only one person above you. Who? Emily Ramsey. She's the goalkeeper for Everton Ladies. Oh. Yeah. So you're second place. Mate, well done. Second. Dad's proud. Look, I can sell behind your bar. Yes, <laughs> get in. So your name's going to be near the top of our leaderboard. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Right, I want to talk about your socials anyway, right? Yeah, I've man. got here some of the notes, but your TikTok following, Ollie Russell GK, 166,000. Yeah. That's just insane. It's ridiculous. And it, on Instagram, your father and son goalkeeping at 46,000. How does that make you feel, first of all? Happy. Happy, yeah? Yeah. Do you, you probably don't even realise how massive that is. No. Not yet. No. You will do when you're older. Mm -hmm. Obviously, uh, Dean, then, it's like that's just an incredible growth in a short amount of time. You, you've only been going a year or so, is it? Christmas Day. Yeah. So yeah, that, Christmas Day when we've got our gloves. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so um, it just it just blew up. It's um, and like I said, we never we never intended yeah. to go viral or no, uh, no we didn't. We was no, just me we, and you, larking we were, around in the garden playing goalkeeping. Yeah, we were just doing our own thing, playing goalkeeping, and then it just suddenly went viral. And then one save, wasn't it? That um, yeah, that just, absolutely took off. Like I had to run the line that day. So I put my phone, I lent it against the goal at, yeah. on like a 4G pitch where they play and it was just videoing him. And uh, and he made this save, which it was a really good save. He was six at the time. And uh, he made the save, but what was good is he then pounced on it just as the striker was coming in. And then like everyone gave him a pat on the back and everything like that. And I think I think there was a few different, we, we put it up and we just, like, we just put it up because it was a good save. It was yeah. like, yeah, everyone can see that. You don't like, expect anything. You're just no. thinking family and friends will like we it, We had really. 44 followers on TikTok yeah. when uh, when we put that up. And, like, it was just for his family to see and, like, put it on Instagram and, like, see his friends and family and stuff because I live in the West Midlands and all my family's still in Kent. Yeah. And then I, I, I remember we got home and then it got to 100,000 and then it went to 200,000 and I was I was frantically trying to flip and reply to every... This is it. Yeah. I was trying to reply to every single message, message the like comment that came in and then it just got out of hand. And I said to Kate, um, my wife, and uh, I said, I've got to put the phone down. Like, I can't I can't keep up, so I put the phone down. And then, like, by dinner time, it was on 500,000. We ate our dinner and then I picked the phone up. It was on 600,000. Wow. And it was just crazy. And, like, I was just glued to the phone. I was like, this is mental. And then all the blue ticks start coming into your DMs, yeah. like ESPN and yeah, yeah, Barstool and all that sort of stuff, wanting to share it. So they shared it. and uh, just blew up. And then it just blew up. I went to bed and it had just clocked over a million. I said to Kate, I said, we wake up in the morning, just see where we are with it. Woke up in the morning, there's a couple more messages from, like, blue tick accounts wanting to share it. And it was on two mil. And then it did that. It did a million a day for like five days. And like Ollie didn't have a clue what was going on. And our TikTok grew to like 12,000 followers. And then it kind of like plateaued a little bit at like six or seven million, something like that, which was crazy. And we was just like, this is our little like five minutes flash in the pan. Yeah. Like it's really, really great. It's what, um, what do you do next, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. What do you do next? And like we never, we never had any attentions of like putting content out or specifically making content. 
So we just carried on like doing our stuff in the garden, garden drills, because we was getting a lot of messages from people that relate to it yep. and stuff. And and um, and then Callia sent him a pair of gloves, and and then we just carried on for a little bit, and then and then your next one happened, didn't it? Yeah. Where um, where, where your little catchphrase come in? You can yeah. tell us about it. Um. So. I saved it down onto the floor and get, then kicked it out. I've seen that save as well. And then Luke came up to you and what did he say? And he said, well done. He said what? what? Come on, what did he say to you when you when you cleared it with I, your foot? I can't remember. Was it yes, Ollie? Yes, oh yeah, it's yes, Ollie. But that one, like, he made that save and I was, uh, like, we started putting a GoPro in a gold end because, yeah. like, I was getting fed up, stood on the side, like, Try filming everything. Waiting for the moment to film. And... Yeah, yeah, and obviously, like, like, and, like, I get to the end of the game and I've got, like, 30 films that are, like, three seconds long because the ball's just gone in Ollie's box. Yeah. And, and Ben was doing a whole GoPro in the goal, so yeah. I thought, yeah. we got a GoPro from the lake, yeah. so I banged it in the goal and we just filmed it. And then he did that save, like, and I put it up, Two two last minute and Ollie does this, and then um, and then obviously his mate come over to him. And he's like, "Yes, Ollie," and give him a cuddle Gave and stuff him a like cuddle. that. I've seen it. It's brilliant. It was, um, but then that one. I mean, we thought the first one went, and that one just it just blew up. It was just ridiculous seeing the numbers come in, and and then the um, our followers go up and Instagram go up, and I think across all the platforms now. Um, so TikTok, Instagram, and all the accounts that have shared it as well, that, that's been viewed YouTube. well over 100 million. That's YouTube. crazy, isn't it? Like, yeah, and you've got a Sport Bible shared that one, yeah. and Barstool, ESPN, ESPN UK, the Olympics have slid into my DMs. Wow. They wanted to share it. No way. Yeah, and then you've got all these other random accounts in like different countries that we've never heard of, but they have a massive following in their own country. Yeah. Um, some random account from somewhere in Asia, like just some bloke, he put it on his grid. And um, I think he's got like 700 followers or something like that. And all his videos get like 300 views. And then he's put this one of Ollie on and he's got like 8 million. No <laughs> yeah, way. Just his random one That's video incredible. and he's got 8 million. And then they're the ones we know of. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then people like just tag us yeah. in it and everything like that. And I, I think it was a cocktail of a few things that, that, that sent it viral. It was one that is young, small, um, and it was good save on both of them. Um, there was also the congratulations afterwards, like on both of them, his team come over to him, either patted him on the back. It's, and it's then so the naturally one. heartwarming it's, as well. It's amazing. Yeah. It? Like you could just watch it over you and over can, again. Yeah. And also probably the fact that I reckon 30 or 40% of everybody that watched it initially thought Ollie was a girl um, <laughs> because of his long blonde hair. Never. Um, yeah, but yeah. I mean, it's, it's just natural at this yeah. age with long hair. Yeah, and, of course, yeah. And because it's gone all around the world, I mean, our biggest following for six months was in Mexico. No way, yeah, that's yeah. incredible. Like thirty-four percent of the followers on our TikTok were were in Mexico. That's incredible. Um, but then you got to think yeah. that like other cultures all around the world haven't seen aren't that. used to boys having long hair and blue eyes. That, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So long blonde hair. So okay. it kind of it blow, blows everyone's mind, really. And You're telling me before that you've got the Harlan cut at the moment, aren't you? Yeah. Had a little yeah. undercut on you? Yeah, that. Yeah. He gets called yeah. Mini Harland all the time. All the time, yeah. Or Ben Foster. <laughs> all the time, like, because of the GoPro and the goal. Yeah. Do you like Ben Foster? Yeah. I've got one more voice note for you, actually. What? Do you want to listen to it? Yeah. It's the last one. Who do you reckon it could be, Ollie? Let's see how this plays. Don't know. Hi Ollie, it's Ben Foster here, the second GK. Uh, I just wanted to say I've been watching some of your videos on the internet of you diving around like an absolute superstar. I'm a massive fan, mate. Keep going. I want to see you playing in the Premier League in like, what, 15 years? I'll give you 15 years, all right? I want to see you ripping it up. All the best, mate. How, How good's that, that, mate? <laughs> <laughs> How good's that? Good. Ben Foster sent you a message ben too, Foster. mate. I mean, I, Ben Foster must have got annoyed with the amount of people that were tagging him in his post. He, like, that second save with the GoPro and the goal. Yeah. Like, so many people were tagging Ben Foster. I was like, he's going to get annoyed with this in a minute. I'm going to send <laughs> you both of these so that you can play them at home anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Is that good? Yeah. Show them to your school? Mm-hmm. And that's me mental? Mm -hmm. Yeah? <laughs> it's just blowing his mind. Uh, obviously, when you started, obviously, you didn't know anything like yeah, this would just blow up and stuff like that, but... Your aim as a dad would have just been to improve your son anyway and give him a bit yeah. of like 
credit for what he was doing. And then obviously this is all like spiraled. And but do, do you know, like, are you pushing in more, or you still got to keep yourself in reality and and say like, no, let's keep working at what we're doing and do the fundamentals properly and just see where it takes us. Yeah, I mean, I we we still do that the fundamentals and doing it properly and working like we. <laughs> We're really, really conscious. Well, I'm more conscious than Ollie is. Of, we don't want to be that social media person. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Um, so, I mean, I've blagged a couple of things for free. As you, like, I might as well. The platform's yeah, there. I might as well. Do you know exactly. what I mean? You have to utilise um, it. And Kenny at Cali has been brilliant with his gloves. Um, and the only other thing that I've that I've blagged was a was an ice bath. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like I, I, I'm That's getting old, right. and I was like, everybody's ice bathing now, and yeah, you can do it yeah. in your garden. And yeah. I was like, I'm going to jump on some of this, yeah. and I was like, so like I messaged a few like these pop up ice bath companies, yeah. and and uh, and one of them come back and said, yeah, we'll give we'll send you one for free if you oh, do us a quick video. I was yeah. like, yes, and I'm well proud now. My little my little ice bath sits on my deck in that like my first like social media influencer yeah. blag. <laughs> <And> I was <laughs> like, right. yes. Have you been in it yet? Huh? Have you been in the ice bath? Yeah. Yet? What do you think? It's cold. Yeah, it's meant yeah. to be. Did you think it helped you or not? Not yet. Uh, you helped. don't get aches and pains, do you? No. Not like Daddy. Like the Duracell bunny goes forever. Yeah. Daddy does. Uh, Daddy does. Can you tell us a little bit, Ollie, about what happened yesterday? Where you went? Where'd you go yesterday? We went to a lot of places uh, yesterday, but where did you go? <laughs> you went for a trial. Oh, yeah. So... We went for a trial for Warsaw and we didn't do much goalkeeping there. Boo, boo. No goalkeeping. Uh, we did play, I did play two matches. You did, yeah. What, in goal? In goal, yeah. Made some quality saves as well, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. They've invited you back yeah. on Friday. That's yeah, to do like some more goalkeeping stuff. That's unbelievable. You're to looking forward to that. And then yeah. you went straight to goalie training after as well, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Do you love goalie training? Yeah. Who's the best goalie coach? Shane. Uh, no, it's Daddy. Shane. Shane, you know what I mean? Still, he's he looked at me and still yeah. said Shane as yeah. well. Oh, Do you really enjoy cool. his training sessions? Yeah. We've all seen quite a few of them online and that. You're getting really good now. Your fast feet yeah. are coming along, aren't they? Yeah. You really like running over the cones now? Yeah, like getting down quick. Yeah. yeah. Even your dive shape, you've really yeah. been working on that. Has Daddy been working yeah. on that in the garden? Yeah. Look. Look watch. Here he goes. This is just today's. Oh, that's, that's when Shane did him dirty. He was about... <laughs> He was about to kick the ball, but he didn't because Pretended. another ball came across, but Ollie was committed to the dive already. <laughs> Still shows great dive shape, by the way. Yeah, yeah, he's, he was there. Get his bottom arm out and dive through his shoulder. It's lovely, that. Good technique, you. <laughs> but shout out to Shane. Shane's brilliant. Is he good, yeah? Yeah, DM yeah. goalkeeping. He's yeah. best goalkeeper in the West Midlands. He's uh, best goalkeeper coach in the West Midlands. He's flipping brilliant yeah. uh, for grassroots. and. Some There's so many like, goalkeeper coaches up and down the country that obviously because we're such a specialised position, yeah. it's so important that if, if any children and parents that we have listening yeah. is to go and make the most of it. Go and do one session and you'll get the bug straight away. 100%. And I remember ugh, I, I got put in goal by, we had no other goalkeeper, so I went yeah. on a one-week training camp and it was a, a Yule Sport training camp uh, at some university and I went, stayed overnight in digs, and I came back, and I, I was like, no, I'm a goalie now. Like, I just totally, my mindset had gone nice. from being an outfielder, and all I wanted to do from then on was be, be a goalie. And I think that was just, like, my dad, you would take me down the park, and like, he had some horrible drills and some unbelievable drills. And yeah. like, I don't know if you all remember, but you know the cones that sit on the floor? Yeah. Do you remember the old round hard ones? Yeah, so my dad used rock to, hard ones. My dad used to put them across my goal yeah. so that I had to dive in front to so that to create nice. a better dive shape, nice. I would never dive backwards. Yeah. So that's how he worked on my dive shape, by hurting me. <laughs> but like, it sounds like, <laughs> sounds like that's a co cool child line. But yeah. honestly, it created such a... I never wanted to dive backwards. Yeah. I always made sure that I got a step in and dive like forward because yeah. I knew that it would hurt. And he, he trained me out of that. And that was just him with no experience of being a goalie, just going... How do I stop you from diving backwards? Well, you don't yeah. dive backwards if it's going to hurt you. Nice. 
and like that's it, that generation of but teaching, yeah, it was, it? Yeah. yeah. But like, so we would go down the park. I had an older brother that would just lever balls at me. But my dad was always like, "No, you need to get your fast feet in. You need yeah. to make sure your dive shape." And that's what we used to work on all the time. And like you do that in your garden a lot. You make sure that you're getting like the basics into. Yeah. We work on uh, what we've got in the garden, don't we? Because you, you're oh. outgrowing the garden a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we try and work with what we can, still can work in the garden, uh, but getting those hand shape, the hand shape yeah. right, we catch in, getting mm -hmm. the dive shape right. I'm I'm a strong believer in getting the fundamentals right. At yep. this age, Get if you can get them catching in the right shape, get them diving the right way, then everything else will just yep. fall into place. It but just becomes muscle the memory then. Yeah, that's it. Uh, like I said to you off air, but like... Um, I had growth spurts like growing up and stuff like that and I, I would lose my coordination. But as long as the fundamentals were there, I was trying to do yeah. the right thing, trying to get my feet into line. Uh, I was trying to get my hands working with my eyes and making sure I was turning my head properly. Like yeah. the, the basic things are, are the most important things. Yeah. And like you do that from any age. I mm -hmm. still make sure that I'm doing it now and I'm, I'm 36 yeah. years old. So mm -hmm. Watching the ball all the way onto his hand yeah. is one that we've worked on a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Because like he started getting into this habit of just throwing his hands up and then not watching the ball and it would just bounce yeah. off and go somewhere. But mm -hmm. but he's getting there. But honestly, like kids nowadays, like to sound like a, an old middle-aged man, but kids nowadays don't know how good they got it with the with the access to resources yep. of goalkeeper coaching, everything online. Um, like it was none of that when I was when I was a kid growing up. Like like we didn't even have a goalkeeper coach. Like when I was at folks in Invicta, we used to. Um, I used to train with the first team and like it was just the goalkeepers training each other most yeah, of the time. Yeah, just two or like, three, just go off and do whatever you can do. Just yeah, kick yeah, balls yeah. At each other, yeah. Yeah, and even at Dover Athletic with the with the when I was on the pace scheme, it was um Clive Allen. Yep. Clive Allen, the ex Tottenham player. Ex Tottenham, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it? Oh, anyway. Um he's either Clive Allen or Clive Walker. I can't remember the name. It was Clive Allen used to be at Tottenham, yeah. Short I, guy. Yeah, I don't think it was Clive Allen. I think he had a shaved head. Anyway, it was like proper, proper old school. But he he used to manage the team there, and um, like we never really got any goalkeeper, real goalkeeper input. Even it was just you know, I'll go and goal, take some shots against you. Yep. Um, it, even the use of like like up. you're saying, like uh, watching videos and watching stuff back. Like we would have had a, a VHS, and yeah, uh, to be honest, like the only VHS that you could ever get on goalkeeping when we were young was uh, video nasties, and it yeah, was like yeah. it was all the mistakes and or saves galore. Yeah, or saves Remember galore. That? So yeah. there, there was two VHSs that yeah. you wouldn't even know what a VHS is, would you? No. Yeah, no. I got a clue. No I run. I used to have saves galore, and I just <laughs> used to run it out. Yeah. Like it was just. Like rewatched and watched and watched yeah. and watched because that's all we had. That's all we had. Just Neville Southall making saves. Yeah, and yeah. Tim Flowers and yeah, that. that's it. It's crazy, isn't it? But that's why I put the stuff on social media for him as well because I'd love to see some of the stuff when I was a kid, yeah. like and my development and whatnot. Yeah. And and that's what that's the only reason we started it was just so he can look back in years and yeah. go, wow, look at look at how far I've come and look at this and and also I'm a, visu a very visual learner. Yeah. Um, and I think Ollie is as well. So. I'm a strong believer in like if you're teaching someone, then um, play to their strengths of how they learn. Um, so for me, like watching videos back, and that's how I would learn, and I, and that's how Ollie learns as yeah. well. So if I film him and then and then watch it, he can watch him back. He can see where he's could could improve. Yeah. Have so, you started uh, thinking about doing your own badges? I have. Um, Mainly when I got injured. Yep. Um, so like my work's very seasonal, so I'll get really busy through the summer and then not so busy through the winter. So I'm going to try and get through, um, through some badges. But from what I've heard, getting like when you get to the like the UA for C and stuff like that, it gets quite competitive yeah, from does, places. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you've got to do a certain level of badge, haven't you? Yep. Like for all of football yep. before you can even One get to and then get to your B. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's complicated as it is at the moment, but. But I'd love to. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I love what you're doing anyway, right? Do you want to talk some goalkeeper gloves? This is Matt Smith, and this is the glove review on the Yours Mine Away podcast. Should we talk about your goalie gloves? Yeah. What gloves do you wear, Ollie? I wear Calliers. Why do you wear Calliers? Um, because they're sponsored me. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that is so awesome. That's the best answer. <laughs> what size are you? Uh, I don't know. Two. That's size two, two yeah. It's size two in Calia. Yeah. What I find is that they all vary dip very differently. From what What gloves. do you love about goalie gloves? Um, I don't know. Do you like the colours? Do you like the the latex? Do I you like, like? 
I like the colours. Yeah. Do you try and match them up with your kit ever? Yeah. Yeah? Or do you just, whatever they'll send you, you'll put on? Uh, yeah, whatever yeah. they'll send me, I'll put on. Right. And you told me that you wash your gloves after every train session. You do it yourself, don't you? Mm-hmm. You're a liar. Yeah. <laughs> Does your daddy do it for you? No. Never? No. Oh, right, that's yeah, not I what can't. I've heard. He's maintaining this yeah. as well, isn't he? He's, he's <laughs> staying in that fluff. I like it. Yeah? Yeah, okay, we'll tell everyone you clean your gloves, mate. Yeah. <laughs> How long did you clean them for yesterday? Huh? How long did you clean them for yesterday when you came back? Uh, two minutes. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Can you, can you hold up your palms on your gloves and show everyone how worn they are? Hold look. up my palms? Yeah, so like yeah, that. Hold up. So for the camera to see. Look at, but they're hard wearing, aren't they? Yeah. So that's really important of someone your age is that you can get a lot of wear out of them. You don't need new gloves every week, do you? You no. just need to make sure you look after the ones that you've got. Mm-hmm. Or daddy look after them. Yeah. And they are really good. They're yeah. really hard wearing, like. He's, he's had these for quite a while now, haven't you? Yeah. Like maybe half the season. You've had these as your uh, yeah. match gloves. Yeah. And they're still in good nick. Yeah. Mine Have are you... in better nick because yeah. I went and got myself injured and I don't play as much as him. But... Fair enough. It's, it's amazing that they, they've got the facility to give you a father and son pair. Yeah. I mean, we... Surely we... that next time we'll have to say you're at Kenny Arthur at Calier. Can you have your name on your gloves? Oh, I've got some. Oh, what? Really? Yeah. No way. Where? Um, Are these ones at home? To keep yeah, them these ones at home. Yeah. Santa bought in them ones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Christmas. Mm-hmm. They That's... got Ollie number one on, haven't they? Mhm. Yeah. Is that your favourite number as well? Proper goalie number. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Number you... one yeah. on the team sheet. Have you tried other gloves? Uh, yeah. 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 But you you love your Calliers, don't you? I've seen a yeah. video about you doing an unboxing of your Calliers. Yeah. Yeah. You do love a, new, a nice new pair of gloves, though, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you think that they work better in dry conditions or in wet conditions? Wet conditions. They're better in the wet, yeah. They yeah. aqua gloves. Yeah. Yeah. Some gloves are so much better in the wet, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you think they're a bit more grippy? Uh, yeah. Yeah. More grippy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you, obviously, you play a lot on Asher turf, so yeah. do you have to be careful about how they cut up and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Don't land on your what? Um, my palms. Yeah. And what about when you're getting up? Uh, it's hard not to press off the palm, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think that's really hard too. I still do that. It's something I haven't taught him yet. Yes. I, I should do, but there's other things that no, we can No, there's so much more. Learn from. Yeah, yeah. No. It's about speed about getting up, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So the quicker that you can get up, whether you use your hands, your feet, your knees, mm-hmm. whatever, the quickest yeah. way you can do it, get up. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Ollie, do you eat certain food for pre match? Do you eat certain food before you play a match? Not really. No, just no. anything. No. I wish I was a bit like you. Just breakfast because he yeah. plays in the morning. And yeah. Then. Mm-hmm. You watch your normally kick off about 11 o'clock? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so you just got to make sure that yeah. Daddy gets you there on time and you've had a nice breakfast. Yeah. Oh, that's good. What do you have after if you're at home? Um, we have a sandwich. A sandwich? Yeah. Do you get anything if you keep a clean sheet? Um, no. My mummy and dad used to give me a pound coin every clean sheet. Oh, look at him looking at me now, look. I think Daddy should try to do that, shouldn't he? Mm-hmm. You always get a little treat if you keep a clean sheet, <laughs> don't you? Uh, do you get nervous? Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes. sometimes. If we're playing like a good team. Yeah? yeah. And what does that make you feel like? Uh, just nervous. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that you get a bit quieter or do you think you get a bit more excited or a bit more concentrated? Concentrated. I always think that nervousness is good. I think it mm. makes you concentrate on the job that you've got to do. Yeah. And I would say to any kids that do listen, it, it's totally normal to get nervous yeah. and that it should almost make you go uh, and concentrate and think about doing very mm-hmm. basic things very well. That's what I always say yeah. to people. When you're nervous, do basics to the best of your mm-hmm. ability. Mm-hmm. Yeah? I think you do that anyway. Yeah, I don't need yeah. to tell you that. Have Mark, you, have Mark you got, Howard? Yeah. Um, do you know when you... Do you know when you growed up in Arsenal? Yeah. Um, what did it feel like to grow up in Arsenal but be a Tottenham fan? Oh, I don't know if I could tell the truth about that. We had a lot of uh, Tottenham players, fans, when I played at Arsenal. So oh. what we always said was we were going to the best academy possible. So it didn't matter oh. if it was... It was like a high school we treated it like. We said oh. it's the best place for us to learn. Yeah. 
So my whole philosophy when I was your age was, mm -hmm. where can I learn to be the best professional footballer? And it didn't mm -hmm. matter what team that was. Yeah. So I always just wanted to be the best that I could be. Mm -hmm. I didn't worry about anybody else or what teams I supported. I just wanted to try and improve myself all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Have you got another question? Uh, no. No. <laughs> we were discussing them on the way down yeah, here. That's we? a very good question, though. Mm -hmm. I don't tell people often that I support Tottenham. Mm -hmm. I supported Tottenham. I've told this story once on here before, but I love white kits. You do? Yeah, I love white kits. So oh. I supported Tottenham and Real Madrid and England just because mm -hmm. I thought that when I was a kid, when I was your age, mm -hmm. and I saw people playing in white kits, I thought they looked very special. But you like blue kits. Yeah. And Arsenal kits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's a good question though. Uh, have you got any advice for young goalkeepers or other young footballers that want to go on social media? Uh, start from the basics. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah? Mm-hmm. What's the, what's the biggest thing that you should do? Uh, smile. Smile, enjoy it. You should, mm -hmm. I can tell that you love playing in goal and that's one of the mm -hmm. biggest things that... I said obviously about your daddy is mm -hmm. so it's endearing how your daddy treats you and encourages you, but you always look mm -hmm. like you're having the best time ever, even mm -hmm. more fun than Chesington. <laughs> is that is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What what's daddy's advice for any parents? I don't know. It's, it's much the same. Like I said, like at this age, is do the do the fundamentals and do them well. Um, learn the basics and then build on that. Um, there's no good if you're plucking one out at the top bins, but then you can't catch it properly on a cross or, or if the ball's kicked straight at you. So, uh, so do the basics well. Um, any parent and kid, like just have fun. Yeah. Like, and at just seven be years positive. old. The positivity yeah. is the biggest thing uh, when you're young, and uh, like yeah. parents being positive to their child, not negative comments or moaning or nagging them just being positive to them and showing yeah. them that it's fun it should be fun yeah yeah 100 percent. and it's not easy sometimes um sometimes if like there's a howler or something like that you have to bite your tongue yeah um i think that's just natural but you got to remember like at seven years old like they don't need pressure at this age they no. just need to enjoy their football and have fun and i think if they're enjoying their football and having fun you're going to get the best out of them and if you're heaping loads and loads of pressure on or um or making everything about getting into an academy, yeah. I think they'll just grow up resenting it yeah. in the end mm -hmm. and not want to play. I totally um, agree. And I've always said to Ollie, like, if he turns around and he wants to be a ballerina next week, it's it's fine. Um, and you'll support him no matter exactly. what. Exactly. Yeah, that's what parents do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll encourage him and I'll push him in something that he loves. Yep. And at the moment, he loves goalkeeping, so yep. we're going down mm -hmm. that route. And... Mm -hmm. um, and I'll just keep on encouraging him until yeah. he gets to his teenager and then I'll whack a load of pressure on him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, I've got one last question for Ollie. I don't know if you'll understand it, but do you know what the goalkeeper's union is? Uh, I've heard of it. Can you tell me what you think the goalkeeper's union is? Uh, is it this podcast? Oh, no. It, there is a podcast called the GK Union, but uh -huh. the goalkeeper's union is like how we all look after each other as goalkeepers. Like we're a bit special, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So we all have each other's back and we all help each other. Mm -hmm. I think that you and your daddy epitomise what is the goalkeeper's mm -hmm. union, that you two are fun and you coach mm -hmm. each other and you help each other mm -hmm. and you interact with millions and millions of people. Mm -hmm. I think you're, you are a great example of the goalkeeper's union. Mm -hmm. Yeah? What would you say to that, Ollie? Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. <laughs> right, I, I love goalkeepers. Do you love goalkeepers? Yes. Have you enjoyed being on this podcast? Yes. Is it different than your one? Make sure everyone goes yeah. and listens to your podcast too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah? Mm-hmm. All right, that's all we've got time for today, okay? So yeah. can we just say a massive thank you to Dean and the star, Ollie Russell. Yes, Ollie. Absolutely amazing. This has been the Yours Mine Away podcast with me, Mark Howard. Make sure you give us a follow and a five-star rating. Hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. I really have. Yeah. Okay. Say bye. Bye. Thanks for having us, mate. Thank you. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Good Is that good boy. fun, Ollie? Yeah. Nine out of ten. You smashed it. Yes, Ollie. <laughs> you smashed it. <laughs>